Now, diplomatic tensions simmer between Turkey and Sweden. In the latest, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan has lashed out at Sweden, saying they should not expect Turkey's support for their NATO bid. After recent protests against Ankara over the weekend, massive protests were held in the Swedish capital, which also saw some pro-Kurdish groups taking part. The Turkish president has condemned this disrespectful act carried out by far-right Danish politician and further called it blasphemous. Kalkacaksın, senin güvenlik güçlerin, polisin vesaire, onların koruması altında bu ihaneti, bu edepsizliği, bu alçaklığı, bu adiliği, bu namussuzluğu yapacak onların korumasıyla da orada ah bak işte biz Müslümanlara ne yaptık diyecekler. Ülkemizin büyük elçiliği önünde böyle bir kepazeliğin yaşanmasına sebebiyet verenlerin NATO'ya üyelik başvuruları konusunda artık bizden herhangi bir hayır haklık bekleyemeyecekleri açıktır. Kusura bakmasınlar. Başta söyledik. Terör örgütlerine caddelerinizde, sokaklarınızda her yerde cirit attıracaksınız. Ondan sonra da bizden NATO'ya girme konusunda destek bekleyeceksiniz. Yok böyle bir şey. Nayadwa also criticized Sweden for pro-Kurdish protests where demonstrators waved flags of various Kurdish groups. This included the Kurdistan Workers' Party, also known as PKK. The PKK is considered a terrorist group in Turkey, the European Union and the United States, but its symbols are not banned in Sweden. Along with Ankara, Stockholm has also criticized the protest. On Saturday, Swedish Foreign Minister slammed the act. Tobias Billström has said that Sweden has a far-reaching freedom of expression, but it does not imply that the Swedish government or myself support the opinions expressed. Billström has also said that this will, that he will study Edwan's comments and then speak about it. The United States has also reacted to the recent tensions between the countries. State Department spokesperson Ed Price has said that the U.S. supports Finland and Sweden's NATO candidature, but clearly termed burning incident as deeply disrespectful. Uh, we are cognizant, though, that within democracies, there is freedom of association, there is freedom of uh, expression within that freedom uh, that uh, gives people uh, the right to undertake actions that uh, may be disrespectful, they may be repugnant, uh, that may be disgusting. Sweden, along with Finland, applied to join NATO after Russia invaded Ukraine. With the recent protests, they've heightened tensions between Stockholm and Ankara. Erdogan has already set out a series of tough conditions for voting in favor of Sweden. The demands call on Stockholm to extradite dozens of mostly Kurdish suspects that Ankara either accuses of terrorism or of involvement in a failed 2016 coup. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.